Call me Paul McCartney. Call me John Leno. Call me John Lennon. Call me Paul McCartney. But I'm building this as a standalone. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I have the TTO2 chassis, four wheel drive, Subaru WRX STI, the NVR Challenge. And I am very excited to get into this thing. So first things first, this is the uh, shaft driven four wheel drive TTO2 chassis. The torque tuned motor and the ESC are included. So pretty much I'll just need a receiver and a transmitter and I'll be good to go. And here's a look at the TTO2 chassis. This thing looks amazing. A lot of detail, I'm sure a lot of decals. There are a ton of hop-up parts for this thing. Different foams and different springs, everything else. But I'm gonna build it as is and then see kind of how things handle decide what to upgrade from there. The only upgrade I'll be doing right off the bat is the Fast Eddy bearings. I put these on all Tamiya kits. So on the inside, we've got a bunch of parts, parts trees, different bushings, everything else all laid out. Your torque tuned motor is in here and uh, some zip ties some other things. Here is the Lexan body shell. Looks pretty good. A little cutting will be needed and of course paint. A foam piece for the front bumper and a bunch of parts. There's just a bunch of parts in here. Kind of like a tub chassis. Here it is here. And here is the ESC and this is a TBLE O2S. The CSC has three wires running off of it, so it is brushless capable, but it comes with a brushed motor. So initially, that's how I'll be setting everything up. And I'll be sure this time to make sure I have the right mode on the ESC. Thanks everyone for pointing that out. Here are the tires. The tires are more like slicks, but that's cool. After the MO5 build, I think these are definitely the way to go. And here's the wheels. The wheels look really cool, actually. I really think they look neat. Plastic, they'll need to be glued but I think it's a great wheel option. So to answer some questions right off the bat, yes, I have the Grand Hauler. Yes, I will be putting that together, but the Grand Hauler is gonna take me a while. I'm really gonna take my time on that. So that's gonna be a long haul build, no pun intended. I picked this up. I don't think this is gonna be extremely difficult to put together. I can probably get it together fairly simply. This is not a part of the Tamiya build series. This is something I'm doing independent. And when the Tamiya build five is announced, I will be a part of that as well. Why all the builds? Well, it's getting into the cold season and idle hands. I need something to do and this is my something to do. Between this, the Grand Hauler, etc. I'll have plenty of things to keep me busy, especially as we get into the winter months. Kind of stocking up early. Alright guys, that's about it. If you like what you saw, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and hopefully you'll uh, continue on enjoying the Grand Hauler build this TTO2 Subaru build, and everything else that I get into over the next few weeks. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.